What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to look at 25 alternatives for the commonly overused expression, I agree. So, instead of saying I agree in your speaking exam, especially in those parts where you have to interact with your partner, you can turn to a more original expression. Are you ready to boost your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So the first expression to replace I agree is I'd go along with that. I'd go along with that. An example sentence, I reckon we should bet on electric cars and scooters in order to slow down global warming. I'd go along with that. Number two, I can see where you're coming from. I can see where you're coming from. For example, we should help low-income families that are unable to make ends meet. I can see where you're coming from. Let's move on to our expression number three. You can say that again. You can say that again. An example sentence. Needless to say, it's our duty to protect all animals and especially endangered species. You can say that again. Number four, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. For example, how about volunteering in our home country this summer and giving a hand abroad next year? I'll give you that. Number five, tell me about it. Tell me about it. It's getting harder and harder to get a job for university leavers. Tell me about it. Number six, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. An example sentence, becoming a minimalist is beneficial both for the environment and your personal well-being. I couldn't agree more. Number seven, we've got a rhetorical question. I know, right? I know, right? For example, it's crazy how the world has changed this year. I know, right? Let's continue. Number eight, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. For example, let's watch everything in English from now on. I'm done with that. Number nine, a very interesting option. I feel you. I feel you. And if it's pronounced very informally, it sounds like I feel ya. I feel ya. An example sentence, it seems to me that it's high time we did our bit and planted a tree. I feel ya. Let's move on to our expression number 10. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. You can use it to agree with your partner's suggestion. An example sentence, let's have some sushi for dinner and you pick a movie to watch tonight. Sounds like a plan. Number 11, I'm of the same opinion or I'm of the same mind. We can use both options. I'm of the same opinion or I'm of the same mind. For example, I feel we must live more sustainably. I'm of the same mind or I'm of the same opinion. Let's move on to our expression number 12. That's very true. Or we can also say that's so true. That's very true or that's so true. An example sentence, we shouldn't forget that we only have finite resources 
and we are already running out of them. That's very true. Or you can also say, that's so true. Let's move on to our expression number 13. Good point. Good point. For example, we should use social networks wisely in order not to get addicted to them and waste our time. Good point. Number 14. I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought of that. An example sentence. Why don't we conduct a survey on current leisure trends? I hadn't thought of that. Number 15. Exactly. Exactly. Very short, simple and effective. For example, I believe meditation is a very effective tool to cope with stress and anxiety as it teaches us to live in the present. Exactly. And guys, before we continue and learn 10 more expressions to replace I agree, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you find it valuable and interesting and activate the bell. Thank you very much and there is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Let's continue with our lesson number 16. Yes, I suppose you're right. Yes, I suppose you're right. For example, from my point of view, introducing Dress Down Fridays will have a positive impact on our employees. Yes, I suppose you're right. Number 17, that's just what I was going to say. I like this expression a lot. That's just what I was going to say. For example, I honestly believe that doing sport regularly can boost your immune system. That's just what I was going to say. Let's move on to our number 18. I'm totally with you on that point. I'm totally with you on that point. For example, if you live in an English-speaking country, you're bound to improve your fluency. I'm totally with you on that point. Number 19, another expression I like a lot. We are on the same page. We are on the same page. An example sentence, I'd say maintaining a positive outlook is paramount in times of crisis. We are on the same page. Let's move on to our expression number 20. One of my favorites. I think I used it in my speaking exam when I took the proficiency. It's a bit long, but it sounds great. And it's, I pretty much agree with you on that. I pretty much agree with you on that. For example, writing your to-do lists instead of typing them is more effective according to numerous studies. I pretty much agree with you on that. Number 21, that makes total sense. That makes total sense. For example, happiness is appreciating little things. That makes total sense. Number 22, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. For example, wearing a mask can be overwhelming at times. I know what you mean. Our expression number 23, you said it. You said it. For example, resting up is essential in order to be creative and productive. You said it. And two more to go, they are a bit different because in this case, you don't agree with everything your partner said, but just with one part 
So I think they are super useful. So number 24, I agree up to a point, but. I agree up to a point, but. There is something I don't agree with. For example, to me, social networks have a lot of drawbacks. I agree up to a point, but I do think they have brought some advantages. And last but not least, I agree up to a certain extent. I agree up to a certain extent. So again, you don't agree with everything your partner has said, just with one part. For example, it seems to me that you're more productive when working in the office. I agree up to a certain extent because when you work remotely, there aren't constant interruptions. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. As you have seen, there are lots of options to replace I agree. Obviously, you don't need to use them all. My suggestion is to pick five or six and say them in your speaking exam. And of course, guys, thank you so much for having watched this video up to the very end. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!